Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother when he sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. This is the second week of Forgiving and Reconciling. I'm going to cut you free. So now you can go back to your seat. But because I cut you free, now Annie is all tied up. Right. So, in this little illustration, we see these two ideas. As Fee says, forgiveness means to release from bondage. So we released Emmy from her bondage. But when she was released from her bondage, now Annie has to bear or carry. She has taken away that bondage. Um, so the, the central aspect of this part of forgiveness, and you can stand there for the rest of the message. <laughs> okay, you can sit down. <laughs> the idea, the scriptural idea to this, is that sin has to go somewhere. When forgiveness is given, it doesn't just go away. When, when we give forgiveness, we just like to forget about it, right? It no longer exists. But the Bible teaches when forgiveness is given, it has to go somewhere. So that's why we did the illustration with Emily and Annie. When we released Emily from bondage, the bondage went to Annie. It wasn't just completely gone. It wasn't poof. It didn't evaporate. It didn't get erased. It went somewhere. So this is scriptural in that when Jesus releases us from bondage, releases us from sin, it has to go somewhere, doesn't it? Um, it's not that easy kind of forgiveness that we give where we say, oh, it's okay. You know, no problem. Because we know that Christ then bore our sins on the cross. In anger, his master turned him over to the jailers to be tortured until he should pay back all he owed. This is how my heavenly Father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother from your heart. If you would like more information on .w Evangelical Church, check out do the word .org. Hear the word, do the word, .w.